This is the first video of a series on a real world project, which is based on WordPress and BuddyPress. As the back end development technology, I've used ES6 JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP. Now let's go get an overview of the project. All right, so this is the front end of the project, the home page, the footer, the, the body, and the header. At this point, we're going to go over the uh, description of the front end, page by page, show you all the features and things. And later, we're going to check out the WordPress backend where all the plugins and necessary settings tie the whole thing together. Uh, this uh, is the uh, regular header and navigation with the search bar. And uh, it's a pretty simple looking uh, with a login, logout, and you know, this, is, this is a sign up screen. This is a uh, multi step uh, sign up form that we will uh, see in much more detail in the future. And uh, this is the mobile menu for the site which is also um, available on all the screens, I mean, all, those, all sizes of screen. And as you can see, if we go into the mobile mode, this is what it looks like. All right. And now let's see, uh, as we talked about before, we have BuddyPress in here. We have two different types of users athletes and coaches so we uh, only uh, showcase the athletes one here so let's go check it out all right so this is the athletes index and uh, there is a search filter going on here for example if we do like a u.s football and then uh, just pick up all the female and uh, as you can see here, verified, non-verified. So let's uh, do a non-verified of the non-verified. And then if we go, let's say, just pick out like 2020 people, uh, we can do that here. And uh, also we can just reset and get out of it. If we click on this other filter and let's go pick out golf, right? And this also uh, filters out based on uh, the golf features like a handicap, uh, let's say whoever has 05 and then uh, so on and so forth, national ranking, let's say, boom. So this happens and you can always, uh, and, and this also filters, the, the base filters also come in handy here. And we can always reset the filter and go back to the original page. And this is just a simple sidebar with um, some popular posts in it. And these users are actually uh, created through BuddyPress. We will get into much more details later, you know, back end code and everything. But for now, uh, just showing you the functionality. And let's check out universities. This one has about 2,000 plus universities listed here uh, and also a Google map attached to it, which you can actually click. And if you farther click on it, you can actually go to a single page. This also has a like a drop down contact form and uh, a, a slider here, three image slider on each of them. I mean, I just uh, haven't added images just yet. So let's go back to university. This has also some filters going on. Also, there is a uh, load more button here, which loads more universities. And then we can uh, also pick out filter with uh, like you know, divisions and men's sports, let's say basketball or baseball, and then women's, uh, boom. And we can always uh, reset filter like that. 
and uh, more uh, significantly we have uh, we can choose from all the states here there's a drop down and we can go let's say california and it shows all the california universities and such all the details here like that and uh, here's the blog page we're calling it learn so this has a masonry layout and also a category menu up up top blogs academies etc etc and the this uh, header actually changes a lot when we decide to log in let's say we're going to log in as athlete one okay so it comes directly to a dashboard and this is also an internal app This is a task list there, there's a profile view, and then how many emails uh, the person received. Uh, and uh, the app here that controls these tasks is kind of like this. Like if you come here, click on it, and uh, if you just get out immediately, it's gonna have you started on this with this icon. And let's say you click on it and uh, you watch the full video and you mark complete and then close it does complete and once you complete it keeps adding to the number for example now i go and complete this look this number changed and then i realize i made a mistake here i, I wasn't finished so let's go try this one um, I can reset it and that way it drops back to one. So this is the dashboard and uh, the profile views are collected, you know, from this profile We're using a BuddyPress plugin based on that. And this is a fully customized profile view. This, this has nothing to do with the original uh, body press uh, profile or whatever uh, they come up with it has completely you know upside down changed uh, all the way through um, this committed uh, this is coming from the back end uh, we'll uh, get to it later uh, verified coming from the you know back end i'm using acf here and uh, a body press plugin that is giving me the views here and this widget was completely you know it's a full custom uh, widget created uh, uh, according to uh, the co you know the coaches whomever looking at this athlete and then those coaches have uh, you know the universities attached to them so if some coach from Stanford University looked at him, so this one shows up, even though the coach has user ID and, and name and everything, but we're only extracting the university logo and the name here. And uh, also uh, these data coming from the body press custom fields and these buttons are, let's say it's attached to an email portal this is somebody wants to email him or he wants to check his email so if you can click here and this is the email portal sending new messages message checking and then some settings here this is done by one plugin third party plugin which we will definitely discuss thoroughly there's a directory there it's pretty fantastic but styling on this is completely custom i mean uh, you know by default it looked uh, you know pretty terrible but uh, we uh, you know managed to make it look pretty decent and we can always uh, go back to profile from here
And uh, these uh, sections are all coming from the BodyPress backend created by BodyPress uh, custom fields. And uh, you can see some of that here. There's the name and then uh, the video can be entered here. Just the video uh, YouTube code and uh, the video shows up, the members bio. Later on, I will, uh, when I show the WordPress backend, I will show how these fields were created, every single one of them. And apparently the, you know, styling is fully custom. Uh, the, this little block is coming from uh, BodyPress plugin itself, but uh, it's nothing like the original. Everything has been changed and all these data, once they're inserted, also while you're doing it, you can just click here to make it disappear so and you can go about your business. These blocks are all coming from Instagram. We will definitely look into the not only the back end, also the code level, how these all these have been accomplished. And uh, one thing to notice here that uh, this little uh, extra few things showed up. Um, these are um, created with the uh, help of a small plugin. Uh, and uh, these are accomplished, like let's say the logout button and then the view, these are all custom built using uh, JavaScript and CSS. And also, uh, I don't wanna miss this, uh, for example, this tiny uh, menu here, uh, when you are here, you can just click on bio, it shows up, um, sports, academies, Instagram, interviews, and we can go back to video. So all these, we're going into much more uh, detail, um, backend, WordPress backend setup and the code review. And this is the, going to be the series is all about. Please stick around.